I really, I don't, I don't look. Just by doing, just by doing great on the pitch. The incident with Raheem Sterling yesterday is very much on our minds. Heavy criticism for Sterling. The best answer is just on the pitch. Monkey chance and uh, and uh, people spitting at me when I was taking a throw in or a corner kick. Minority soccer players are routinely targeted on social media with racial epithets. Paul Pogba of Manchester United is the latest victim. The tweets can be seen here. They are racist, despicable, inhumane, unfounded, and the parties tweeting should be subject to a criminal court case. The only pureness is the hatred in their hearts. I just cannot believe we still sit here in 2019 talk about these uh, instances. This is Manchester United's manager speaking on the issue supporting his player. We've got to do something about it and the authorities got to do something about the ones who spread this hate. And hoping for due process. To be honest it's something that we shouldn't be speaking about because it should be eradicated long time ago. And Juan Mata, all around great dude and Pogba's Manchester United teammate speaking on the issue. Fellow Frenchman Anthony Martial told Sky Sports, it's something you can't really eradicate from society. Out there on the pitch, we can't do anything about it per se. As players, we are there among white people, black people, people of all colors. The French expression is, we're all the same. Bans should be brought about for people who give out this hatred. People go to football stadiums to have a good time and enjoy the game, and there's no place for it. I'm in favor of the love, not the hate. Reports indicated Twitter were meeting with United to discuss the racist abuse at Pogba and concluded they'll monitor the profiles of 50 high-profile black players more closely in an attempt to stop the abuse. Sky Sports added the platform will meet with the club in the past week and a half. Week and a half, Reading FC back striker Yaku Meite after he was racially abused on Instagram. Meite posted the DM across social media. Chelsea's Tammy Abraham, after missing a penalty in the UEFA Super Cup against Liverpool, also suffered abuse. The group Kick It Out issued a call to action to social media companies. Chelsea proactively had been in touch with Twitter in an attempt to exert more pressure on the company to take a greater responsibility for the things that are published on their platform. And prior to their season opener against Norwich, Mohamed Salah was targeted as well. And when officers showed up to arrest the racist, the racist said, I know I'll get charged. It was me. Raheem Sterling, who was abused by Chelsea fans, has a solution. I would call for an automatic nine-point deduction for racist abuse. It sounds harsh, but which fan will risk racist behavior if it might relegate their team or ruin their title bid? One group of people who have the money to make clubs take notice are sponsors. The next time that a club or governing body fails to act appropriately against racism, I would love to see that company pull its money out and make a moral stand.